Hello everyone. So in the today section, I will discuss some practice questions of inverse trigonometric function. So very first question is sine inverse x square plus cos inverse x square. So this is a function, and we need to find the greatest and the least value of f x. So we all know the result uh, sine inverse x plus cos inverse x equal pi by two. Okay, this is a result where x is between minus one to one domain of this. Okay, so sine inverse x plus cos inverse x equal to pi by two. So we try to convert this function in single trigonometric function. So students, uh, here is sine inverse x. So we can change sine inverse in co or cos inverse. Okay, so sine inverse x is pi by two minus cos inverse x. Square and plus cos inverse x square. Okay, how we convert this? Yes, I am going to write it here. How we convert? Because here is cos inverse x, so sine inverse x, sine inverse x shifting here, or we can say, but uh, we convert here. We convert here sine inverse x. So sine inverse x is. This is convert. This is shift in the right hand side. This one. Okay, so uh, now this is a function of cos inverse x only. But cos inverse carry cos inverse x is very tough. So we can suppose it is t. So function convert in the variable t. So pi by two minus t whole square plus t whole square t square. So it will be pi square by four. T square minus pi by two twice t so twice uh, two you can solve it is pi t plus t square so we write here two t square pi t plus pi square by two now student we try to convert the perfect square here so take two common here is t square pi by two t plus pi square by eight. So convert this in the you can convert this piece in the perfect square. So t now take the half of pi by two, pi by four. I think perfect square. How to make it? Who will know? Okay. So pi square by eight, this one and min, uh, pi by four square is minus. But this rule is there. Perfect square. Who will know? Who will know? So here. F t equal to twice t minus pi by four square plus pi square by eight and uh, pi square by sixteen. So here is two t minus pi by four square. So it will be plus pi square by sixteen. You can check. So twice of t minus pi by four square. It is pi square by eight. Okay, this is a Function okay, so we convert the function is from. Now we need to find the uh, maximum value of this function. So we know that it is not t; it is uh, cos inverse x. So we again write here t value is cos inverse x. So twice cos inverse x minus pi by four and square plus pi square by eight. Now to find the maximum value of This okay here not cos inverse here is x because here here we write only the variable you know whatever variable in the function so this is the form <laughs> now you need to find the maximum and minimum value from here okay everyone knows about the uh, cos inverse x so cos inverse x between zero to pi. Okay, we can apply here the maximum, maxima, minima concept, and uh, uh, we can apply the heat trend trial method. Okay, we can uh, we can apply maxima, uh, minima method, or we can apply heat trend trial method. Okay, so we try to apply the uh, heat trend trial, heat trend trial. जो easy से questions होते हैं, वो heat trend trial से आप कर सकते हैं. बट जो कंफ्यूजिंग होते हैं कि वो कौन सी वैल्यू इसमें रखी जाएगी समथिंग लाइक दैट सो वहां पे आप हीट एंड ट्रायल अप्लाई नहीं कर सकते ओके सो यहां पे आपको जो फंक्शन मिला है स्टूडेंट्स वो मिला है f(x) 
cos inverse x minus pi by 4 plus pi square by 8. This will be now. So try to find the maximum value of this. So maximum and minimum value of this. So student, if I apply cos inverse x maximum pi, so maximum value is pi. So I apply here. So fx maximum twice pi minus pi by four plus pi square by eight. So it is uh, three pi by four square and uh, pi square by eight. So it is nine pi square by 16, but two divide. So it is eight pi square by eight. So it is 10 pi square by eight divided by two, five pi square by four. So five pi square by four is the maximum value of this function. Now uh, the minimum value for finding the minimum value, uh, what we apply here, uh, we apply fx minimum. So in place of cos inverse x, so we can apply here zero because it's liable due to pi. Zero, no, because when you apply zero, zero minus pi by four is square. So that will be pi square by 16. So is square laga hua yaha pe. So ye part minimum kab hoga? Zero hoga. Zero kab hoga jab aap uh, cos inverse isko kya rakhenge? Sorry, isko minimum. Jab yaha pe rakhenge pi by four rakhenge. Jab cos inverse isko pi by four rakhenge, tab jaake ye minimum milega. Kyunki so square ki value minimum. Jab koi square hota hai, perfect, sorry, uh, even power hoti hai. Square matlab. So minimum kya hoga? zero hota hai. So ye zero hoga zero uh, pi square by eight. So pi square by eight is the minimum value. So I hope uh, this is the solution. This is the answer. So uh, pi square by eight and five pi square by four. So this is the answer. Okay, thank you so much. Now uh, 